I have a couple fabrics here, and I selected them because I want to explain something about the fabrics that I think is important to successfully run fabrics. These fabrics are characteristic of a type of fabric where you have a coated fabric that's very thin. This is the Burger Dilux Samba, and then this is the Aurora Expressions Decor Canvas. Um, these are representative of a type of fabric where it's a thinner fabric that has a coating. Now, when you have a coated fabric, you do not need to use, nor do I recommend using, the ink collectors. They're not necessary. They're only there if you have a material that's porous. If you hold up your material to the light and you have pinholes and it's a fabric or it's a mesh with no liner, you need to use the ink collector. But if you don't need to use the ink collector, don't use it. These products, especially the Samba, when you load it onto a latex printer and you tell it, whatever you tell it, fabric or you can even call it something else, the printer is going to evaluate the media and use a certain level of vacuum during the evaluation. When you have these types of fabrics, a lot of times what will happen is it will fold on itself because during the load-in it's applying too much vacuum. Later, I'm going to run the material at a vacuum level probably of five or less, and I'm going to use a take-up roll. I need to put that tension on the front or this stuff is not going to glide across. If the printer tries to feed it, it's so light and it takes so little vacuum that the product will actually sort of get stuck on the platen and then the material will fold over behind it and you'll have a head strike. It'll be very frustrating. So understand that with these thin coated fabrics like the Samba, I'm going to stand during the load-in process of the fabric and hold it with both ends to ensure that it goes through smoothly. Once it gets through and I can get it on the take-up roll, everything is going to be fine. Then it can go forward and backward without any difficulty. But if you don't account for that, you're going to have some trouble and you're going to think it won't work. Also, if you put the ink collectors in, the material is going to dip into that ink collector and create an elongated text and a deformation, and you don't want that either. The way you run this is you load it in with the understanding that that vacuum is going to be too high and it's going to feed it forward and it's going to fold on itself. So you've got to kind of almost pull on it and make sure that doesn't happen. Once it does the evaluation of the media and it establishes its identity, then you roll it forward, put it onto the take-up reel, and you should be good to go. Many of these types of fabrics, these thin fabrics that are coated, you do have to put a take-up reel. There's simply not enough weight to them to go through without it. Now this Aurora is heavier and you can feel that it's heavier. It may be okay without a take-up roll. You'll have to take a look at it. But in either case, you're going to keep a low vacuum signature. You want that low vacuum because otherwise it's just going to go right down onto that platen and it's not going to travel smoothly. Just some hints on how to approach these materials. They do work. They do work very well. But the load-in process and the vacuum issue and running without a take-up roll, using the ink collectors when you shouldn't, those are usually the hallmarks that give people trouble with these types of products. And then they think that the product doesn't work. It does. There's just some, some finesse in getting it set up because of the nature of how thin the fabric is.